The subject of this content is a detailed hands-on training on how to obtain Creelis in software and how to install and use it. First of all, we will talk about the software in a very short and accelerated summary. Then the acquisition and installation of the software will be explained. After making the necessary adjustments according to our preferences, we will talk about the keystroke features, namely the display of the mouse and keyboard keys on the screen. In another great tutorial we have prepared, we will try to cover all its other features extensively. And finally, we will present to you the information and research we have obtained that the software is clean and reliable. Creelison is a next-generation integrated presentation and digital blackboard application. It is a great utility equipped with unlimited color options enriched with focusing tools, various pen, shape and drawing tools while preparing lecture presentations and digital educational content. You can customize your mouse pointer, as well as select the mouse keys and features that allow the keys entered from the keyboard to be displayed on the screen. In addition, the program has shortcuts for almost all operations, so you will not be distracted by yourself or your students while lecturing. You can easily make your educational content and presentation richer, more engaging, and easy to understand for audiences. For the freemium or paid version of the Creelison software, you must first download the Creelison software from Google. We write Softpedia. We can reach the Softpedia website in the search engine by clicking the link. The structure and features of the Creelison software are briefly mentioned. There is an easily visible download link on the site. There are two options, paid and free versions. For the paid full version, the option to purchase is available just above. We will try to promote the program by choosing the free option. And I prefer to download the freemium version. Click Softpedia Secure Download to create a download link and the download will happen soon. Now I just click the link, zip format, about 65 megabytes. The download is almost complete. We move the downloaded file to the desktop where we can see it easily. The installation file is in the compressed zip format file that we downloaded. There is software we use to extract it. You may be using WinRAR zipware or other software. Now we will export our setup file from the zip file. The setup file has arrived. Now let's leave our zip file aside. Our installation file is ready to perform the installation. Yes, I'm removing our zip file as we no longer need it. Setup file. The setup menu opens immediately. We continue with the next option. We continue to move forward by saying the next step. In the next step, it also shows the directory where the program will be installed. This directory contains the address where we will install the software. We have finished the installation. Now the program is ready to use. The Creelison software is the first screen where we see the user interface and language. We have set our user language to English. To switch to the interface and language setting again, it will be enough to click on the settings here. We will then be able to change our language options and preferences. We will continue with the English language. After the language selection is made, the hotkey section at the top of the settings opens automatically. From there, we can leave or change the necessary settings as usual. We will change some settings and we will see the hotkeys. They are the shortcuts of the program tools that will make our work easier during the use of the program. There is a small window called Creamentor. It is a useful section that shows some important details of the program and visually explains some of its features during use. If we don't want to see it initially, just tick the box. We will close this window for now. It will reappear in Creamentor at the next program launch. We will also show some features through Creamentor. Hotkey section. Another part is the presentation part. Here we have some important settings. And the most important part is actually on screen display. Here we will specify the keystroke settings. When the program is open, we can see mouse movements when I click on the desktop or anywhere. When the right or left button is clicked, we can see which button is clicked next to the cursor. Here the details of mouse settings continue. 
and we will consider more detailed settings related to the keyboard. In other words, they are the settings related to the display of keyboard keys. Keycap Labels is the settings section that allows the names of the keys on the keyboard to be displayed as labels in a small frame on the screen. After making a few important settings on the hotkeys, we will move on to the on-screen display settings. We have summarized what we will do in the first step. Now when I open and close the program, when I go to the first shutdown option, there is a hide button about the program running in the background. We see the taskbar option or the process of closing the program completely, or we can choose the cancel option. The program runs in the background in the taskbar section. When I close it, we close the program completely and we can no longer use keystroke and all other features of the program. I open the program again and every time I open it, the career mentor message appears again. We want it to reappear on every boot to make it permanent. Let's talk about the first settings we will make on hotkeys. Since we prefer OBS Studio as screen recording software, we do not want to take advantage of screen recording features here. Of course, you can use it if you wish. Here, we set it to Control plus F9 as we chose F9 to start and stop recording in OBS Studio. Likewise, we change the record from F10 to Control plus F10. My OD setting is a shortcut to toggle mouse strokes and keystroke settings on or off. I set this as the escape key. Now we continue from the keystroke settings while the program is running in the background without opening a presentation. We can use the keystroke that is, show the keyboard and mouse keys on the screen. Let's do a few basic operations to adjust the presentation settings later. One of the first and most important settings for us is the hide or reveal setting for the mouse and keyboard keys to be displayed on the screen. We will prefer to see mouse and keyboard strokes during the presentation. We preferred automatic numbering for arrows. One of the ready-made shape tools. We will talk about the details of this tool during the presentation. Soft drawing is an option that will keep its form and help us draw better. We leave our other settings as usual. In this setting, we determine the board background style preferences that are open during the presentation. Retro style and abandoned school board or green board or chalk board with pattern instead of solid colors. You can see many other different styles. You can change it depending on your preferences. It could even be a whiteboard. Presentation mode is turned on. Chalk will appear on the screen as the default tool. We can change the startup tool, but we will leave it as chalk. Of course, he could also start with a pen or other tools. We prefer that the chalk tool appears selected each time the program opens, and we want the chalk vehicle color to stay white. Presentation settings were important in this sense, and we completed it at the basic level. OSD, the most important setting is the on-screen display setting. The most basic and most important settings regarding the display of mouse strokes and keyboard keys, namely keystroke. We want to disable a feature related to fast recording. There is a shortcut to start or stop recording with a double click while the program is running. Creelisten software has recording feature, but we don't want that because we already use OBS Studio for this reason. We do not want the Creelisten software to start recording automatically when we click anywhere to times. Finally, we come to our main and most important setting, keystroke. That is, how to show the keyboard and mouse keys on the screen is determined on screen display. Under this header, there will also be mouse and keyboard settings. Here are the display properties and color preferences of the PI selected mouse keys, mouse stroke display settings that we choose according to the preferences we want. We will preferably use the default style and size to X, of course. We will make a setting for this here as well. We will prefer the small setting. The transparent property shows the transparency of mouse clicky properties. Vertical margin is the setting of the mouse's proximity and distance from the cursor. We set it as the closest option to the mouse cursor. There is a feature that makes a click sound for every keystroke we enter from the keyboard or when we click the mouse.
We will not use the click sound feature. We will disable it for that. If I choose the smallest of the default setting, the image shrinks to this approximately. And we do not prefer this because the keystroke, which is very important to us, is also very small. Standard default is not large enough. We will prefer a setting that is two times the default setting. And here we enter the detail settings of the mouse. This is the part where we define the color of the mouse cursor. Our choice is green. Setting to show or not show mouse click state feature is available here. If we turn off the show setting, it won't show which key was pressed on the mouse. If we turn off the show mouse stroke setting, it won't show which key was pressed on the mouse. We want it to be actively displayed. Thus, our mouse settings are complete. We came to the keyboard settings. We will determine the appearance of the keyboard keystroke keys on the screen. Font. We can choose Arial Bold or a different font. Let's change it now. Many different fonts are available here. We want to make it look its best to the user. Preferably, this style seems more appropriate to us. Depending on the font feature, thick or thin can be preferred. There is a timing setting for how long keystrokes and mouse strokes stay on the screen when presentation mode is active. Fair font size is a feature that allows the label to fit into the frame as much as possible. When we press a key on the keyboard, we will leave this selected so that viewers can easily keep track of which keyboard key you press. In the Show Resolved Characters section, you can show it in detail with lowercase and uppercase letters in parentheses. We wanted it to show the letters we entered as a preference in one and large size. That is enough for us. The underline feature also shows the effect of which key you press on each keystroke, or it stays underlined when you hold it down. This is a feature that is shown when you press or hold the key. We will use this too. It will remain selected for us. Just below there is a setting where we show keystroke colors. It needs to be marked as custom font color for it to appear. After marking, the keystroke will now be visible in the color you selected. The keystroke is keycap labels. Tags are encoded as alt opt by default in our settings. But we just edited them to alt. I changed the control key to CTRL for the shortcut. The F9 key is important for us. Let's make it clear so that we can see it on the screen when the F9 key is pressed. For the appearance of the right control key, we set it to RCTRL by placing a large R in front of it. I am checking here to see if there's anything I need for other settings. These are good keycap labels, settings for my preference. On screen display, that is, the display of mouse strokes and features, and our most basic and most important settings regarding keyboard keys. Keystroke are now complete. One remaining feature is the setting for mouse strokes to follow the cursor, either the display of mouse strokes or the position of keyboard keystroke views. A setting that allows the mouse cursor to be displayed at the edge of the mouse pointer or at a distant point. We want the keystroke views to be right next to the mouse cursor following the mouse cursor instead of being far away because it will show the viewer much better which keyboard key is pressed or which mouse key is pressed. Even when we open and close the program completely, our settings remain permanently. Our settings are permanent until we change them. We minimize the program to the system taskbar. The program is currently running in the background and I could see mouse hits on the screen. Let's test the settings we made by creating a notepad here. Now let's show the keystroke. That is, the keys entered from the keyboard on the screen. The text file has been created. Let's come to the name right away. I said test version 1. After saying enter, we finished. I just moved it to the top corner. I will write something soon. I select, copy and paste the text I typed and here you can easily watch how keystroke looks from the keyboard above. Thus, we have made a visual and practical explanation of how we use the keystroke features. Right after we show the key usage live, we can now close our program again. Keystroke, in order to show the keystrokes better and more detailed on the keyboard. 
we entered less commands than the mouse, you will already be able to see mouse keys and strokes more often. Mouse click features are already in progress. Thus, we have completed the practical and applied explanation in detail about the display of keystrokes on the screen. In the following sections, we will try to explain the output settings of the program and general settings related to the presentation, the tools we will use during the presentation, and other important detail features of the Creolison software. From where we left off, we will show the remaining detail settings of the interface and go directly to the presentation section. We will then move on to the details of the Blackboard section in the presentation various tools, and more. That's it for now. We've completed this section. We will share with you the link of the content where we will introduce the other comprehensive features of the Creolis and software in a comprehensive way. Now, we will enter the hot key section in detail here. On the left is a section showing shortcuts for ready basic colors, are for red and different hotkeys for other colors are mentioned right next to them. We can enter the presentation screen with the F1 hotkey. After entering the presentation, we can change the colors of tools such as chalk or pencil with hotkeys. Of course, we will have an unlimited variety of colors in the color palette, but we will have the opportunity to reach the basic colors with a single click. Here I see primary colors and hotkeys. During the presentation, it switches to the pen tool with the B hotkey. The K hotkey also activates the chalk tool. Eraser tool is selected with the shortcut key if we provide the transition to liquid fashion, that is, transparent or matte colors. Here is the hotkey that shows the color palette with a wider color range, where I will open the color palette, the shortcut key of the crop feature, which we will quote and cut from the screen with the S key. We quickly switch to the selection tool. During the presentation, we can select the selection tool on the tool wheel that opens after pressing the right button. The C key will help us create a full box. The D key activates the tool that helps us create a solid circle. Rectangle or square shape with shortcut F key, we will be able to create frames. It is a tool that helps you focus on the selected area. By selecting a specific area within the rectangle with the H key and blurring and darkening the outer part, we choose a tool that allows us to create straight lines with the L key, with the V hot key. The graduated angles creation tool opens. Another shortcut key to help us quickly enter text on the presentation screen with the T key. You can create a circle with the I key. Shortcut key to help you add an image from a file to the presentation. Finally, for numbered arrows, we can use the X key as a shortcut. There is an automatic numbering feature for arrows in the presentation settings section. It's been chosen, so we'll leave it as usual. We left this option selected. The retro style appears just below the blackboard. We will talk about it in detail later. We have now completed the hot key section with all its details. Sets whether to show keyboard and mouse keystrokes with our hot key. In other words, the keystroke feature is enabled or disabled as long as the program is running. We can activate or deactivate it when I press the escape key again, except for the presentation or presentation. Right after the hot keys section that we have completed, there is an automatic numbering option for the arrows we mentioned earlier in the presentation settings, and we will go into the details of this during the presentation. We see the Blackboard section that we mentioned in the previous sections, and it shows features in different styles according to the preferences on the blackboard background. An abandoned school style chalkboard background would be suitable for us. As always, we will prefer to start with chalk, and of course, we will be able to change the tools as we want during the presentation. We prefer the initial drawing color to remain white each time the presentation starts. Also, very important to us, our keystroke and mouse stroke demonstrations will always be on during the presentation. I will leave other settings as usual. Thus, we complete the presentation part. Now, an important detail is that there are three main sections that do not change, even though we change them in every settings section. These sections are currently a presentation mode where we can switch directly to the screen presentation. Of course, 
we will be able to apply all our presentation tools here as well as on the board. There is a way to start presenting from the current screen. And there is an option to start a presentation with a chalkboard. The other last setting is the recording setting. We will not use this recording feature because we continue our recordings through OBS Studio. We have completely finished the presentation part. As for your graphics tablet settings, here are a few tweaks customized for tablet users. He briefly presents them here. Our screen settings are the ones we made before, keystroke keyboard and keycap labels, settings another setting we have completed. Our mouse settings are also completely ready. We prefer to leave these performance settings as default. The user interface is the main screen that welcomes us at the first launch of the program. This is the part about language preference. We will continue to use it in our preferred language. This is the section that shows where our file and directory outputs and records will be saved. We will leave it on the desktop. It consists of links that, when clicked, take you to the relevant tutorial video content. In the next section, we'll show them practically in full detail. Error and warning section, that is, it is the section where error and warning records are kept. And again, the file section that welcomes us in the interface in almost every program, basic commands that are classic in every program, and of course program save commands. In the export section there are options where you can save slide presentations as PDF or image. There is a section to completely delete the slide sheets we created during the presentation. A command that minimizes the program to remain in the system tray, that is the program is running in the background. It has a program update control section and a help section. Here are the export and import settings. We will leave everything as it is. The career mentor section is a helpful section that visually describes the features of the program. There is an option to support career lesson software. Let's start showing the features offered by the career mentor panel with one to one applications, zoom and pan features. Of course, before showing this, Let's enter the option to start a presentation on the current screen and apply the presentation tools on that screen. We'll continue on the chalkboard later. The default chalk tool appeared as soon as the presentation started. The mouse cursor on the screen has now changed to the chalk tool. Here, I can now draw on the screen when I press the one key. I can draw the thinnest lines. I can change the drawing thicknesses from one to nine and draw as I want as soon as we exit the presentation with F1. We return to our normal desktop. Even if we leave the presentation, the key features are active and the program continues to run in the background. My keystroke settings remain keystroke so that I can see the strokes of the keyboard keys and mouse keys on the screen. When we press F1, we enter the presentation and what is the default tool in presentations is set in presentation settings. If we had chosen the pen tool instead of chalk, we could use a pen directly while entering the presentation. We can also change the thickness in the pen tool. I can change tools from the tool wheel that appears when I right-click during the presentation. Again, I chose the chalk symbol on the tool wheel and switch to my drawing tool with chalk. We would like to prefer chalk as the usual tool. F1 again, how do I exit the presentation? And choose the chalk tool as default from the presentation section settings and leave it as white as the first color property. In the presentations, let's explain the keystroke, that is, the setting that hides the strokes of the mouse and keyboard keys. In practice, you cannot see clicks when keystroke settings are turned off, and right now you can't see the keys I entered from the keyboard. When we remove that setting, when we click, we will be able to see which key was pressed on the mouse, and the keys entered from the keyboard just below my mouse cursor. Our keystroke settings are active again, and I left the presentation. We have a chalkboard section. If we start from the board, our presentation will come directly to the board. The background starts with the chosen retro or flat style. We made a few basic drawings on the board. When I hold down the control and continue, straight lines complete the section to the next point in a straight line. When I press F1 again and exit the presentation screen, I have a specific slide record. Now we can extract it as an output and export it. There is a one-page slide that we created on the board. 
Note that the chalkboard section is already stored in memory, but I'm deleting them all. Export as PDF gives an error warning note because there are no slide pages currently saved in the program. The zeroth slide page of the presentation is not saved, but there is a way to save the zero slide. That is, the image on the first screen. Let's start the presentation from the current screen first. Let's draw something symbolically on the screen to change it. Then, when I dragged and dropped the crop tool from the upper left corner of the screen to the lower right corner of the screen, we got a recording and even once again, we now have two screen recordings. When we exit the recording, two screenshots will appear on the desktop immediately. I exit the presentation mode with F1 and I see two screenshots on the desktop. Since they're both the same, I'm deleting one and posting it here. I have only one screen recording since I cropped it to the screen in this way. The zeroth slide is now saved in the program's memory and can be included in the presentation and saved as a PDF. Of course, I'm deleting this useless slide we made to show practice. You move forward by holding down the right mouse button and we come to the first page in presentation mode. I'm writing a page here with the text tool. I saved it as the first page and am adjusting its dimensions. Before moving on to other tools, let's write Hello World on the board. Zoom in and out the screen with the mouse wheel tool. While zooming in or out on the screen, you can navigate on the screen, that is, on the page you are on, with the pan movement by holding down the right button and swiping without releasing it. However, when zooming out is 1 to 110, neither near nor far. It causes a page change when I swipe right or left while holding down the right mouse button. I can use this action to navigate between pages. When I hold down the control key and click on the next point to draw a straight line between two points, the line completes without any problems. The zoom level that I zoom in with the middle mouse button will enable us to zoom in at the same level. My other important tool is my eraser tool. We can also select it from the shortcut with the E key. The size of the eraser is also among the options from 1 to 9, as in chalk and pencil. We chose the chalk tool. Then I chose eraser. I'm retouching. I delete the excess. Likewise, when I control click, my eraser tool erases the track from one mark point to the next as a straight line between the first mark point and the last mark point. Press the backspace key to return to the previous step. After clicking to draw a straight line, we created the straight lines up to the points we clicked in the next coordinates by holding down the control key. The application has a redo feature. We can undo it with the control Z key. Redo undo the operations we mentioned before, step by step, with the backspace keys. It will proceed step by step with the Ctrl plus Shift plus Z keys we show again. We can use Ctrl plus Shift plus Z to move forward, backspace, or Ctrl plus Z to rewind. For pay change, I hold down the right mouse button and pull it to the left, and we go to the second page. We move in the opposite direction from the page we are on to the previous page. That is, I hold down the left mouse button and drag and drop it to the right. We can also navigate between the pages by using the page up and page down keys on the keyboard. Page zero is the main section. But if we do not take a screenshot during the presentation, it will not be included in the records. Yes, we can select these shapes to perform functions such as numbered arrows, pointing or focusing that we mentioned earlier. Here we can also change the distance, proximity and direction of the numbers. With the delete button, the slide will be permanently deleted completely. I am writing something new. The polygon line tool is a tool that helps me draw a polygon with smooth lines. I create straight lines horizontally and vertically by holding down the out key on the keyboard. If I want to create a closed rectangular shape, if I click two times after creating three lines, it will automatically complete the remaining fourth edge and close and merge the shape.
From here, I hold one end of the rectangle with the selection button and adjust the enlargement and reduction settings. It was previously selected in the transparent setting. My shapes and text appear transparent when transparent mode is enabled. When I press the R shortcut with the sixth arrow selected, I switch to red. When the first arrow is selected, I changed it to green with the G hotkey. When the second arrow was selected, I turned it black thanks to the B hotkey. I turned it blue using the U hotkey with the third arrow selected. As soon as we press the T hotkey during the presentation, it will activate the tool that allows us to enter text in the font size we have determined anywhere on the screen. I wrote this second page right in the bottom corner of the page with my text tool. The slash key that makes the drawings of the tools we use appear transparent or opaque. We can use the transparency feature in Chalk and all other drawing tools with the slash key. It will return to the opaque state when pressed again. The selection tool is also activated using the S hotkey. K is for Chalk and P is shortcut for pen key. We have an eraser that we can select with a hotkey. Of course, you can increase or decrease the size of our eraser from 1 to 9. We can only erase non-vector drawings with the eraser. We delete vector drawings with the undo or delete key while they are selected. My color swatches are in the bottom left corner of the screen samples and points to the color in the area where my color picker tool's cursor is and displays it when I click on it. We can get that color. Instead of a palette, I focused on a color I saw on the screen and chose it. I can also make this color transparent again. I usually use transparency to paint another shape or text and mark it as transparent. You can also use the comma hotkey for color selection, for example, it took a dark blue color from the chalkboard. It will look a little clearer with the pen. When no shape is selected, the delete button completely deletes our page that appears on the current slide. And now the second page is completely cleared. Here again, I write and place the second page text in the appropriate size. As long as I can select the text with the selection tool, I can change the color properties and dimensions. We can quickly choose the colors black, Red, green or yellow, white seems more appropriate. If the opaque or transparent mode is active in the shape or drawing tools, it continues in the same way. And now I can type transparently when I select text with transparent mode enabled. If I set the color to transparent in the shapes, I can change it to opaque as long as I can select it again. The opaque or transparent feature of the text continues at the last remaining setting. If I click and select again, I can change the transparency properties of these vector shapes. If the selection is still active, I can select all vector tools and texts collectively with the controller key. I can also resize them. I can also change their location. Instead of the transparent setting, the text I will write the opaque setting will now be in its final setting, namely opaque. I will be able to draw my angle tool when I press the V hotkey. I can draw my angle tool on the screen in the degree and direction I want. I completed a simple triangle in a different way. I delete them with the delete key and again I have a clean screen in front of me. When we click on a second point other than a selected point while holding down the ALT key, it draws a circle according to the radius between these two points. We can draw smooth circles with chalk, similar to what we showed earlier. When we clicked from one point to another while pressing CONTROL, it was completed with a straight line between the two points. Our first point is the center. We previously showed straight lines with CONTROL. I can select my angle tool with the tool wheel or activate it with the shortcut V key. Here I created a second angle with copy-paste. With copy-paste, holding down the ALT key helps tools such as lines or angles to draw their drawings vertically or horizontally. And we can even draw at regular base angles with 45 degree angle differences.
I'm deleting them now. Here, I drew a triangle with combinations of control and chalkies followed by concentric circles with a given radius. I went back to my angle tool. By pressing out, I created 45 and 170 degree angles and then random circles. With these basic commands and tools, it is possible to create an unlimited number of drawings and images. I can create a square or rectangular frame with the F key. I can also increase or decrease its thickness with numbers from 1 to 9 and specify its colors and transparency properties according to our preference. I immediately created the polygon shape with the control key. We can also provide representation of 3D shapes from 2D shapes. Different designs are also possible. And I created a prism. I also have a small cylinder shape here. Yes, the first page is still here. Since you didn't remove the first page, I permanently deleted the changes I made on the second page. Again here I am writing a small footnote stating that there is a second page. I can make the color black, the green yellow or the white that suits as best. I come to my chalk tool and from there I can choose orange or other colors and many more colors from my palette with the colors I choose. The palette has many different settings. There are palette options with different colors and a regular size palette is enough for us. I can also turn it back on with the hotkey comma. We will sample the color with the color pick tool. When we hover over the current color, we can immediately see a sample of the color. I got a few colors from here, and after selecting the color picker color pick tool, I can get the sampled colors. Let's choose first. Yes, you will immediately see the change in green as soon as you hover over the green color. I came to red, I came to green again, and I came to yellow just below. You'll see a sample of the color yellow appear. Now, we will talk about the settings for changing the background color of the chalkboard. As we mentioned before, let's choose white. This time I immediately entered the presentation screen, and as soon as I deleted the second page, it automatically created a clean square white page. I'm deleting this as well to keep it clean. This time I will cancel the retro style and try a plain board in a different color. It will be without a pattern, of course. When I removed it with the delete button, it switched to solid color. Thanks to the control plus shift plus W hotkey combination, my background color will be white. I switch to black with control plus shift plus B and a blue panel greets us with control plus shift plus U. We prefer the retro background style. Blackboard is our choice. Now let us place one of the vector shapes we have on the board. If I hold down the out key, it places it on our screen, keeping the aspect ratio. Again, we can adjust the size and size of our vector shape with values from 1 to 9. And we also have the ability to zoom in and out from the corners. Similarly, we can adjust the thickness of circles and other shapes from 1 to 9. As we mentioned earlier, we have these settings and chalk thickness from 1 to 9 in the eraser. And again, I deleted it completely. The first page already exists. We've used the multi-crop feature before. Let's paste it to the screen from the pages that we clipped earlier. First, I place the vector shape properly by holding down the Alt key to keep the aspect ratio. And let's place a screenshot that we cropped earlier in this program. If you place it with the out key pressed, it will keep the aspect ratio. We can zoom in and out randomly from the corners, but I have to hold down the out key to maintain the aspect ratio. While my selection tool is active, I made the position and size settings of the shape. I got it back with Ctrl plus Z after copying it by pressing the Ctrl plus E keys. We placed it in a slightly smaller place. These were the desktop views we cropped earlier when we were demonstrating the use of the crop tool. Finally, my remaining feature, my focus feature, can be on page zero or on another screen while opening the presentation. Now, 
For better understanding, let's show the Haze tool and focus feature in a practical way by using the H shortcut on an area we will choose from a website. I zoomed in. Once this location is selected, I will apply other tools. I can undo what I did step by step. It can be more obvious if we do it with the pen tool. I can choose different colors. We can draw transparent green, yellow and other colored lines to mark texts. We set the thickness setting of the lines to 3. Again, we created a straight line with the control key. This saved page is also included as a slide in the presentation because it was saved. We explained almost all the tools of the Creelison software in a detailed and practical way, so we can get to the last part. Let's come to the security of the site and the software. Now we can move on to our short information section about the Creelison software virus total scan. As we showed earlier, the site has an information section that states it is 100% clean and reliable. When we open the short information section about the security and software of the site, it talks about security details. Of course, we will scan and test the software and the site on the virus total web page. First, let's check the zip file we downloaded as a file. When we look, we do not see a problem. When we examine the installation file in the same way over virus total, we see that it does not pose any problems. It looks pretty clean. In addition, we reached the real address of the software exe file and scanned it again with virus total. Again, according to the virus total scan results, we see that there is no threat. And finally, as you know, there are free or paid versions of Creelison software. If you wish, you can purchase the Creelison software as a full version with all its features. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon and thanks for watching.